Melee dying is just because like people don't have the hardware to play Melee anymore. Yeah. Like computers become so advanced that they just can't render things properly anymore, or like no one can find any more game controllers, something it's, like that. We're, we're, at that point, we're, you know, someone's gonna start putting it with their mind. We're just gonna start Ready Player wanting it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I am Falco Lombardi. <laughs> He's just like me for real, for real. <laughs> Right, but we got our next match, uh, Squid Plumber and Smub. And Smub, I'm glad I finally get to see him play because I see him play like maybe once every three months, even though he, I always check the brackets and he's always like in the top three. I gotta say, I think that's like the first get up attack I've seen like in three sets. <laughs> oh, that actually, good SDI coming out from, that's a stock. Yeah, he was all the way at the top of the screen. There was no way DI that would have saved you right there. Yeah, and so, this matchup is heavily reliant on Squid not getting F tilt to that, on uh, getting F tilt two frames or F tilt pokes, because that is very good for the uh, for Ridley. Of course, we've seen how good his F tilt is, and that's one of Smub's best things, which is his uh, his timings on his F tilt are typically really good. Mm -hmm. And Belmont's it, when they use their jump, they're screwed. Yeah. There's no way in hell they're making it back. That's fine. Uh, but that Nair is also going to be a big thing because you can actually still chase him off stage. This is a big no zone, but I'm actually surprised. It looks like it really does look like Belmont's Nair consistently beat Ridley's Nair in those interactions. From above, at least, because it does start below. Him. Yeah. And Squid taking that stock, too. Hitting the, uh, angling his bear to hit Ridley as he, uh, turned on to the, uh, had to go up, right, like uh, horizontally up. Oh, hmm. uh, big that body. That could have been the yes smash, and he's going to be fine. <laughs> yeah, but Smub, I mean, we're like, what, a minute-ish into this game? Or two minutes, two, two minutes, minutes in, in and it's Yeah, it's dire. So we wanted to go out for the, for the dare. I just, I just feel it in my bones. Yeah. I mean, there's not, not much to stop him. Yep, you knew. You knew. He's Nick's friend for a reason. <laughs> I play with this dude too much. <laughs> but that could actually be really bad because we've talked about how easy it is to gimp uh, Belmont. And really, if there's a character that can do it, it's definitely Ridley. Yeah, dude can just hang out there and just drop that Nair and cover that whole tether zone. Good mash. And oh. so I also learned you can only mash out of it when you're below in percent. Yeah, yeah. Like, you technically can when you're higher, but it's just it's task That's levels apart. That's the first uh, and only upper you're ever going to see hit in your life, guys. Just make sure to treasure it. Yeah. On a big body, moving slowly through the air, you can land it. And it is deadly, for what's worth. Oh, yeah, 100%. And I would definitely... No, we're going to see PS2. It may have been a snowball effect for uh, Squid. It feels like he just... He just he had took that first talk instead of running with it. Mm -hmm. I think that Smub potentially feels like that as well. I do know Smub is a rather, like... I'm looking for is he feels a lot of like the stuff falls into him rather than it being a stage thing. Love that. Um, Honestly. I played I did this terribly. I can do this better if I do this and then like he just that's just how he thinks of the game. That yep. is insane. Internal low self control is key. Always. Um so I think that's why we're going running it back. And honestly with uh you know PS2 something something uh those two stages in the game kinda of, kinda of bold but with uh in cages, like cages, these bad. It's probably not wrong. Like if you're like you're saying about like a top tier, like in a low tier. No, that's just not true. But with characters that are both mid tier, mid tier, I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. say it, guys. They're not like a super, they're not like high tier, they're like a super counter or something. That's fine. But oh, he went, he went on stage. Can he dare a plasma? Pack? I think he can. I'm pretty sure I've seen that before. I mean, hey, if. Um Shutan can down air Pikmin to recover, then you can down air Plasma, bro. And I've also seen Belmont's dare off of Ivy uh, Razor Leaf, so it's not impossible to me. That's a really good mix up there. Yeah. Excellently played. Alright. This, that was an awful angle, actually, yeah. Yeah, and no awesome. jump, too. Yeah. Oh, we're not going to be able to combo off the uh, returning. Uh, returning cross. That was an. That he was. He that was wanted a day one air dodge. Yeah. <laughs> Forget American. That's just. That's just an air dodge. That was. I thought that was an air. I thought we were just gonna see a drop down air and then Squid Palmer's lifeless curtains. Good use of that up air there. But he, once again, we're finally seeing 
like a main uh, issue with the Belmonts here against like uh, how Smub is playing it now. Hmm. He's not letting. He's not really letting Squid take everything for free now. Granted, the way he's uh, playing the stock, but letting Squid take advantage of his advantage, day, I'm kind of concerned, but that shouldn't be it. Yeah. I, I, I thought he might be able to survive that. I'm. Yeah. Did he give up on the DI? I think he may have just given up. Yeah. Like, Ridley's side B, like, it does so, so, so much damage coast to coast, but, like, it doesn't kill until, like, unless he has rage, until, like, maybe 140, 50 ish. That was a fringe uh, kill right there, and things are starting to spiral for Script Humber right now, because Smub is cooking. I'm trying to come. He's trying to combo off these, uh. Trying to come off these returning crosses and he's just not getting them. Right, we still got the recovery. Really, these wings are that, terrible, but nice, 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 nice. Very nice. good. Yeah. A plus. Well, how are you going to land? Because that up, smash, up smash, up tilt, up. That. I'm surprised Smub didn't up smash there because that's what he typically does. He pulls triggers and up smashes. Mm hmm. Nice, there nice, nice, yep. It also helps that it starts behind him. So, and that's like the only part of the up smash that actually hits like low is the startup of it. Mm -hmm. Um, So he kind of needs it there and Squid rolling behind him and Smub was just ready for it. Yeah. All right, so off to game number three. One, one apiece and, you know, I feel like this one has the potential to go to a game five. Oh, 100%. I feel like it could be a, end up being a counter pick war. I do know Squid loves this stage a bit. I don't know how Smub feels about it. Because one of like, the main things about like Town and City, for instance, is the side blast zones are pretty small, but you also have the small side pla uh, side platforms. Here it's like, yeah, this, yeah, the stage, like, stage is small, the blast zones are small, but it's not tremendously close, you know? Mm -hmm. like, like, of course, relative to Town and City, everything is super, is everything super far, but... But here's just like this allows Squid to play. If he can, if Squid can get in the middle again, he's gonna be in a, he's gonna be just doing much better, playing really well. But that was I think, a weird roll. I think that was just like a mash roll or like potentially a uh, what's it called a um, it's a buffer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, he was trying to hold shield probably. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, but Smub. Hurting a lot, but I feel like, oh, unless you DI like that, that was some um, Pat G DI. <laughs> yeah. If you know, you know, because that DI was a little crusty. Getting the hand hitbox, too. Not going to be able to get anything off it, though. And this is what I mean. Is that how do you get in now? Because Squid has control of the center stage. And even if he, like, he, if he, didn't, if he didn't have full center stage control, Ooh. he's fine. But I thought I was going down there that I always I, I just made it there, too. Even if he doesn't have control of the center, he, there's just so much pressure and like just things preventing uh, Smub to be able to get past the center, even if he has control over it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Phantom footstool, that's not going to be it. High ceiling, that is the one nice thing about town. Yeah. Going to be able to just kind of hang out. Oh, oh he, he did it. He went for it. He but went he got hit for by it. the second one. Uh, he got hit by the last, uh, like the last hit of the plasma breath. But hey, where were you when Squid Plumber? Uh, Dared of uh, a uh, plasma throw. Yeah, absolutely legendary stuff. But you know what? Not all legends are ones where the good guy wins. Let's be real. Ridley is the bad guy here. Oh yeah. I mean, he is a monster, right? Yeah. I think he, like it's weird because like he's a space pirate, but like all space pirates looks very different from him. So it's like it's space pirates aren't a species, I guess. Some Metroid nerd come in and get this. I played all of them, but I still don't know every bit of lore. That'd be that'd be interesting if there's like yeah there's a whole breed there's a whole planet of just these dragons. Yeah yeah for real. Like I don't know it's I don't know that'd be really dope. Video Maybe games. Prime Four. Please Nintendo a scrap of war I beg you I beg you. This is so much pressure coming from Squid right now. Oh that's Nash. See ya. Already standing up. Both of them knew that that was death right there. So good stuff. Squid one more taking that game. Just needs one more to put it away. I don't know if I'm trying to think of what Squid would ban here. Probably, I think probably like ta no, maybe Town. I think it's like Hollow Bastion would make sense as a ban. Uh, an FD potentially, but it doesn't matter because we're going to see Battlefield come out, which we saw Squid counterpick too. 
in the uh, last set versus Siegel. Mm -hmm. And Smub though is this this stage is typically really good for uh, the for Ridley because you have the uh, platform to allow you to shark. It can help you catch landings or just in, uh, increase your combos. But you, it, it feels like between these two, it's literally just a snowball game. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what your character is good at. It's who's taking who's taking the lead first. Yeah, and Smub especially is one of the more snowbally players I've seen in this game in general. Either like he absolutely blows people up, or like it's a scrap last stock, last hit kind of thing. You're not gonna be able to punish the uh, air dodge there. What a parry on that air right there! And look at how much he's getting off it. Almost got an extension with the uh, space power rush right there, but finding nothing doing. Good patience right there. Oh, that. Getting hit by the uh, second hit of getting hit by the second hit of the uh, cross. That's dead. Yeah, see ya. Unfortunate, but Belmont's, re Belmont's recovery isn't bad until it is, you know. Yeah, that's the way you're putting it. And after being a punish the dash grab, that's gonna be a punish though. Alright, Smub works his way back down to the ground. The plumber, yeah, that's gonna be an easy up smash though. No sweet spot needed. I was talking about the la in the last set too about having that uh, holy holy water on those platforms is gonna be huge for Squid. It allows him to set those up and catch your landing. Mm -hmm. Game stop trade. Another one. Smub eating, just kind of hammering the damage. But because Ridley's so big, you know, he can be just fine. That was scary tech roll situation. I thought up or excuse me, F smash or down smash is gonna come out and. Okay, you're good. You're good. I almost thought he mashed that tether too quick because, like, sometimes yeah, out like, of his son, it gets wonky. Like Joker and stuff, for instance. Yeah. Oh, he can't get a second uh, Holy Water out, but dash attack instead of being able to get it. I assume he's going for a runoff back here. Hmm. Oh, uh, interesting. I think he did. He was too scared for the angle to. Uh, that's what a call out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Squid Plumber keeping the dream alive. This could be a 3-1, but Smub might have something to say about it as he gets into his win condition. The ledge, and that was a that's bad what, trade, but... Yeah, that's what I mean. I was talking about those situations. If it wasn't for the fact that Belmont's, uh, Belmont said it was one of the most obnoxious things in this game, yeah, it would be, we'd be on to game five right now. Yeah. Good setup. Covering that with the Holy Fire and with the cross. There's so many shenanigans about... Where'd the cross go? Oh, that is a really good uh, follow-up on the tech there. I don't see Smub miss as much as this. I've been seeing him even flooding. That's dead. Oh man, that moves strong. That is a that is a you that is a call out because that is not that it's not true. That is not true whatsoever. It, you you have to do something. You have to press a button. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, like, for characters with multi jumps, their jumps don't take them very high or very far. Yeah. So, you know, you can't jump out of that situation like a normal character. Could. It's just air dodge. You have to pray. Yeah, you have to air dodge because, like, you don't have a button that can contest that. You might have something that can hurt bot shift you into, like, a sour spot. But even then, like, that's still a bad situation. <laughs> like, Squid Plumber just forced Smub's hand and took that set. Yeah.